The reason for my closeness is I feel like me and you are going to be best friends today. Um, I have to tell you all my favorite scriptures and, you know, just a part of that means I got to tell y'all like pieces about me, pieces of my testimony, stuff that happened in my life. So we're going to get real close today. I hope you're ready. All right, <laughs> let's do this. So the first scripture comes from Isaiah 43 and 2, and it says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. So this scripture is like the epitome of why I'm a Christian. It is the sole definition as to why I freaking love God. Um, <laughs> You know when you like go through something with somebody and you develop this bond that is just like so unbreakable? That's how it is. I've been through so much stuff with God. I depend on him. Me and him are like, like, wow, like <laughs> this is it. And this scripture is like God's promise to me that he's not going to leave and that he's not going to leave me in my situation and he's not going to let the situation overtake me or overcome me to the point of destruction. So, you know, I tried to write down some of the things that this scripture pertains so to. So here goes. Eight years living in a home with domestic violence. Um, living in a single parent home with financial struggles that come with that. So the gas being turned off, the electricity being off, been there. Um, the suicide of my close cousins. Um, having low self-esteem, feeling like the black sheep, like I feel like I never fit in anywhere. What is a rejection that? from friends, feeling like you're not good enough, and, you know, the more recent one, the shame that comes with getting divorced. And it's like the Lord, every single time I go through something, he just continues to remind me, you know, yes, you got close to the fire, but this is not going to So overtake. this next scripture is my self-doubt scripture. Um, a lot of times people see me and I appear very confident. That is not true, like, a lot of the time. So the Lord dealt with me one time. I was really downing myself about something. I didn't think that I could do something or that it would go right. And he gave me the scripture. And the beautiful thing about it is the scripture doesn't usually get used for this. Um, it's 1 Corinthians 4 and 16. It says, know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in you. And it was just the Lord's reminder to me, like Kayla, I am the God that lives inside of you. Wherever I ask you to go, wherever I take you, I'm going to be there with you, not just with you, but inside of you. And all those things that you're concerned about, all those imperfections that you think people are going to notice, I'll present you faultless in those things. You know, the Lord talks about his our weaknesses being made perfect in him and it was just that reminder like Kayla you're gonna be fine everything's gonna be okay so this scripture always serves as a reinforcement as a motivational um, aspect for me when I feel like you know there's something that I can't personally do Psalms 23 and 4 and actually I use this scripture to get through my divorce. The shame, the hurt, the heartbreak, everything that goes with the divorce, feeling like everything has totally fallen, deep depression, this scripture got me through that. Um, it says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So this scripture, anytime I read it, it I imagine myself as a little sheep and just like a kid in a movie theater when there's a scary movie playing I'm like uh, covering my eyes like I'm not looking up I'm looking down and all that I can see as my gaze is focused down are the feet of the shepherd the feet of my God and his rod and just his sheer presence just knowing that he's there with me in that moment in that time when I was going through all that, it was just like, Lord, thank you. Thank you for being there with me because I felt like, you know, nothing was going my way. And the Lord brought me through it. And it was only because of his comfort, because of his reassurance, because of his love. So this very last scripture was the scripture that I placed on my graduation cap. This is my baby. I did not throw this in the air at graduation. Um, but... This scripture, Isaiah 40 and 31, this is what it says. It says, even the youth shall faint and be weary, 
and young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So, you know, when you enter college, your dream is to walk. You want to get to that. And it took me five years. Do not come for me, darling. <laughs> it took me five years. And during the last three or two years, I was married. And so I went into this really horrible depression. I was crying all the time. I was like not motivated to do anything. I just wanted to go. The scripture came to me and it was just like, Kayla, if you wait, if you wait. You know, a lot of times we as Christians don't have patience. We don't want to wait on God. Um, but it was just like, if you wait, you'll get there. If you wait, I'll renew your strength. If you wait, I'll allow you to, you know, mount up as wings. But it was eagles. just like, you know, I had to understand that the promise was on the horizon, that if I did faint, if I did give up, if I did drop out, that I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And, you know, even now not being married, I still have my degree. But most importantly, I have my God. I have the same God that gave me strength endurance to get through those last years when I wanted to really, get That's up. what all this is about. God is everything. He is truly everything. He's always been with me. He's been my provision. He's been my endurance. He's been my self-esteem. He's been... By the way, I want to show you guys this picture. Because people see the end result of who I am. They don't see who I used to be. And I just want to show you guys this picture because this is who I used to be. I absolutely hate this picture, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. This is me in the sixth grade. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> so, you know, this is who I used to be. This is the girl that had low self-esteem. But because of God and because of, you know, maturity, I am now who I am. All of the things that I've been through have shaped me and molded me into the be, to be the person that I am today. And I thank God. I thank God continually um, because he truly is everything. You got encouraged. I hope you learned something new. Um, maybe about God, maybe about me. Um, but yes, be blessed. See y'all.